Now, you mentioned earlier there was some sort of, I think you said a shooting range on the property, is yes. that right? Can you describe that for us, please? Uh, it's about 250 yards long. Uh, it's an old gravel pit that they used to use to obviously get gravel. Um, it kind of just turned into the shooting range for us. is a big open field. Did you and the defendant shoot your AR-15s on that shooting range? Yes. You mentioned it was about 250 yards long. Did you have targets that far away? Uh, not entirely. It was, I mean, more at the time we, it was just like iron sights, so that wasn't a realistic range to shoot. Um, we would set up clay pigeons hanging on trees at the end of the range and just kind of walk a certain amount of distance until we felt comfortable it was the right spot. What would you say the farthest distance away would be that you uh, shot targets at with your guns? Say about 75 yards. Were you successful in hitting what you were shooting at? <laughs> Not all the time. <laughs> um, I'm going to ask the detectives here to uh, show you a couple of exhibits that have been marked as exhibits 27 and 28. And I'm going to have them handle them for safety purposes but I'm going to have them hold them up and show them to you, and I'm going to ask you if you can identify them for us, okay? Okay. And I want to represent to everyone that these uh, items are not loaded. There are no bullets or anything like that. I believe that Detective Antaramian is holding up what has been marked as exhibit number 27. And Detective, is that right? That's number 27? 27. Okay. Do you recognize that item, Mr. Black? Yes. What is that? <clears throat> one of the AR-15s. Do you know which, who's, which one that is? I believe it's Kyle's. I'm not too sure. Okay. Would it be fair to say that yours and the defendant's uh, look very similar to one another? Yes. Do you remember if there are any particular markings on one or the other that would help you to identify them? The only difference was the sights. What, what was the difference in the sights? Uh, one of us had a bigger one. I don't remember which one it was. Okay. Um, I'll have the detective now show you the next exhibit, which is exhibit number 28. Detective Antaramian is now uh, showing you a, uh, another uh, item, which is exhibit number 28. Do you recognize that? Not from the last time I've seen both of them, no. Okay. And I noticed that the gun that he's holding up doesn't appear to have a scope on it. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. Um, it, are AR-15s the type of weapon where a scope could be added to them if need be? Yes. Um, okay. Thank you, Detective. Okay. Uh, could you grab that, please? Detective Antaramian indicates there's a scope in the box, so we're going to show that to you as well. Um, maybe we could show Mr. Black both of the scopes, and you could tell us if you recognize which one might be yours. So. I believe Detective Antaramian is showing you one of the scopes. Are you able to recognize if that's yours or the defendant's? That is not mine. Okay. So that scope came, uh, you believe, from the defendant's gun? Yes. Okay. And uh, if you recall, thank you, Detective. The other uh, weapon that we had that had a scope on it, um, now that you've seen this other scope, does that help you remember which gun was which? Yes. Okay. The other gun that we showed you, which is Exhibit 27 with the scope attached on it, was that your gun? Yes. Okay. So these two exhibits, 27 and 28, are uh, 27 is your, the first one is your AR 15, and the second one is the defendant's. Is that correct? Yes. Your Honor, I move exhibits 27 and 28 into evidence. No objection, Your Honor. Receive. Can you help us understand, Mr. Black, why you were interested in having an AR-15? Um, I kind of wanted like a personal project. I had mostly only had hunting guns, and I wanted to try something new to target shoot. Um, I have a lot of family with guns like that. Uh, they kind of find it a hobby to build them up and put different attachments on them. So I figured I would try and get into it as well.